So thank you for watching this video. Uh, this tutorial video is brought to you by NewQBior.com. NewQBior.com, your one-stop QuickBooks Online Learn and Share blog. Our blog is uh, rated among the top 10 sites for QBO resources by actual users. Our contents are up to date. That's not easy since QBO is coming out with improvements all the time. So do you need to sign up QuickBooks uh, uh, for a free trial? We have external links right here. Sign up QuickBooks. Just click that one and it will take you to this link. And here you can sign up QuickBooks USA. We have external banner links. Sign up QuickBooks Canada. Sign up QuickBooks UK. And sign up QuickBooks Australia. So in this video, I'm going to focus on how to auto populate sales stack into the into your sales to see dot invoice so I'm on QuickBooks online here I'm gonna create one invoice and I'll show you what we're talking here okay I'm gonna create invoice select customer here first let's Bobby Smith and I'm gonna select uh, one product you want it want to make it taxable as you can see here you know it's not auto populating your sales tax in here so to do that you know manually you have to make this taxable and then select in here and like that now it's a uh, eight dollars here so it's not auto populating sales tax so I'm gonna show you how to do that okay the first thing you want to look at is your sales tax center your left navigation bar then select sales tax okay and uh, click edit sales tax settings on related task in here you want to make sure you have a default sales tax selected in this case I have one here California tax and make sure these two if you are you know if you have customer uh, all customer taxable select this one same thing with if you are product and service taxable select these two Let's save it okay and the second thing you want to do is uh, from your sales tax center again select this one here view taxable customer report so this will tell you how your customers set up for taxable sales as you can see here I have only three customers here of course you will have more and this one is not selected as taxable same thing with this one okay so let's say you want to invoice this and uh, you want to make this taxable so that it auto populate uh, sales tax all right that's one thing and the second thing you want to make sure is uh, when you create product and services make sure is uh, you have a taxable portion uh, fill is selected so right now as you can see here the material one let's just say this one in here is taxable checkbox it's not selected so select that one kind of small one select is taxable this checkbox there save and close as you can see here now is a check market this is for sales stack taxable make sure you know if you have product and services list and make sure it's uh you have a checkbox here check mark here and same thing with this one okay so now we are ready to create an invoice and see what happens for the sales tax field I'm going to select the same customer again Bobby Smith and this time I'm going to select a uh, uh, product material one you know sales tax is there and material two in here and uh, one reason you know it's not showing up is we haven't uh, done anything to the customer uh, pays yet that's the last part we need to do and in here I'm gonna go to customers again and I'm gonna select this one Bobby Smith and want to make this customer taxable go to edit go to edit in here okay and go to tax info tax info 
and this is the one. Check this box and you'll show a default tax code in here. Customers taxable, let's check that one and then save it. So now we're going to create invoice for that customer. All right, so I'm going to select the uh, same product, material one. And as you can see here, you should auto populate right here. And let's say material two. Okay, in this case, uh, there's no rate here. Let's say I'm going to 250. And it will change right here. It's, it's auto populate. You know, so part of the sales tax is automatically uh, computed now, right here, twenty-eight dollars. You don't have to do anything. Let's change this to ten, right here. And all I have to do is save it. Done. So that's how you have to do it. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channels. We have two channels: VP Controller and New QBO. Like us on Facebook and visit our website, newqbo.com, newqbo.com. Thank you again. Bye.